Welcome to my video presentation on AC and parallel circuits. To talk about the main difference between DC and AC, obviously DC is direct current and AC is alternating current. But when it comes to the circuits themselves, because of AC's oscillation, we have to consider its direction of imp uh, resistance. And this is where impedance comes in. Impedance is the vector value of the measured electrical component's resistance and will also therefore give it its direction. Now looking at more specifically AC series and parallel circuits, we can still use the Cherkov's voltage and current laws as well as the Ohm's law as they still apply for AC circuits. However, the main difference is that direction. So when we are calculating for capacitors, inductors and all other components except for resistors, we must calculate it in a rectangular form or polar form to get that direction. Now looking at an example, we're going to determine the voltage drop at C1, the capacitor 1. And the steps that we're going to take is that we're going to determine the impedance of all electrical components, simplify the circuit into a series circuit, and use the voltage divider rule to determine the unknown voltage drop at C1. For this first step, we can determine the impedance values of all the components using the impedance formulas. So for any capacitor, the impedance would be 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance and for inductors it's 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance and so we get a value we get values here with different types of direction and for any capacitor we'll always have a negative 90 direction and for any inductor we'll always have a 90 direction and for the final value of r it is just 470 with no direction now we're just going to simplify. So first we're going to look at the left hand side of the parallel circuit and changing that into one component where Z prime is equal to the impedance at the inductor and the impedance at the second capacitor. Next we're going to also change the parallel circuit into one component where Z double prime is the parallel circuit of ZR and Z prime. So we'll get a final value of Z double prime at 449.1 at an angle of negative 17. Now that we've got the final circuit, or the simplified series circuit, we can look at the voltage divider rule. So, uh, Vc1 is equal to E times Zc1 on Z total. And so we have to change that into a rectangular form to simplify, and then change it back into a polar form to further simplify. So we get a final value of 84.23 at negative 32.3 volts, uh, degrees, sorry. Thank you for watching my video presentation on AC and series circuits and I hope you enjoyed.